Hey crafters, I'm Lisa Fulmer and today we're playing with Spellbinders. I've got their premium craft foils and I've been embossing them in their embossabilities 3D embossing folders that you put right through the Grand Caliper machine. It's so cool. This is a great mixed media piece. Let me show you how I did it. First paint your art panel on the top and sides with a coat of white gesso. Having white underneath instead of this natural wood color is really going to help the silver pop. Once the gesso is dry, add a coat of silver. Try blending an iridescent medium with the silver paint, about 3 to 1, and this gives the board some extra shine. When that's dry, dab more silver paint over the top lightly with a sea sponge. This makes the wood look more like a piece of sheet metal, and that's going to look great behind the foil. I'm using the Spellbinders Embossabilities Basket Weave Embossing Folder, along with several colors of their craft foils. One side of the folder has the raised pattern, and that's where you're going to place your foil. Place the colored side up, the back side is silver, to get an emboss, or put the colored side down to get a deboss. Close the foil inside the folder and sandwich it between the pink embossing plate and the special raspberry adapter plate, and then run it through the grand caliper. And drum roll please, time for the big reveal! Ta-da! Look at all that gorgeous, gorgeous texture! After you've embossed all your squares, take a marker and mark the corners so that you can punch some little 1 16th inch holes to insert some mini brads. I use different color brads for each color of foil. These brads are going to make the squares look like they're nailed to the board. Now you're going to lightly rub each square with a fine grit sanding block to remove a little color for a more distressed look. Revealing a little of that silver underneath really highlights the embossing. Arrange the squares however you like. I alternated the pattern vertically versus horizontally. Then choose a few squares to add a little wire wrapped accent. I just used some thin gauge wire from the hardware store and wrapped it around the square just a few times. Use a light touch so you don't inadvertently tear the foil. I found it was easiest to adhere the center row of squares first because I could eyeball the distance and then I added the outer rows evenly on either side. I used dimensional glue dots, one on each corner plus one in the center. The dimensional glue dots allow for just that little sliver of space between the foil and the board for the wire wrapping and the brad prongs to rest. This beautiful seashell embossing folder is going to give me some great random texture to accent each one of the squares. I'm using a darker contrasting color foil as a frame for my metal tags. Punch circles out of the embossed foil and distress them lightly with a sanding block. Glue a circle to the upper center area of each square, and then we're going to add these cute little metal stamped circle tags to hang off the bottom of each circle. Use a tiny nail and a small hammer to make a starter hole. Pull out the nail, use some pliers if you need to, and then put in a mini eye screw. Use jewelry pliers to gently twist the eye screw through the foil and into the wood panel. Add a large jump ring to each metal tag and then slip it into the eye screw and close it off with a second pair of pliers. So what are you waiting for? Get yourself some of the 3D Embossibilities folders, some craft foil. You're going to have so much fun. I'm Lisa Fulmer and you know I think it's cool to craft.